Good morning, everybody, and welcome to week five of the Friday Football Blitz. And boy, oh boy, do we have a doozy right off the bat. Now we do a pair of unbeaten teams and rivals square off in the Big Eight. Lucas Mayer live in Middleton for this conference clash. Hey, Lucas. You guys, this was one heck of a matchup. Two undefeated rivals in the Big Eight, as you said. Two teams really wanting to control their destiny in this conference. And of course, don't forget, Middleton ranked third in the state. Verona ranked 10th. Let's get to the action. Cardinals focusing in, and everyone was standing for the anthem, people. Don't worry. 3 0 Verona in the first. The Cardinals driving. CJ Fermanick goes long. It's going to be tipped up. Myron Ashford Jr. is there. Lucky day. He needs to buy a lotto ticket, but can't score. Mini can't get points either. Second quarter, Wildcats show him how it's done. Max Finka, B E A U, beautiful spiral. Jack Herkut, high points that sucker. Get off me. It's a TD. 10 0 Verona. Later, the Wildcat defense showing out. Reagan Stopper tips it. Bowie Clements grabs it. He would reach the end zone, but a block in the back brings it back. Fourth quarter, Middleton has a fourth and two on the goal line. Davis Rocket sneaks it in. Cardinals cut the lead to three. We have a ball game. Under two minutes to go. Middleton kicking to tie the game. It's up, but it's pulled to the left. Oh, goodness. Cardinals got one more chance, but Verona shuts the door. Wildcats with a massive win, 10 to 7. They are playoff eligible and control the Big Eight. I'm feeling like our defense is pretty darn good, and I'm really proud of them. You know, we, we scored enough points in the first half and just hung on for dear life in the second. Our defense played unbelievable. It felt great. We kept working hard every quarter. Just playing hard, and I love my team. It feels great to finally be Middleton, one of our biggest rivalries. We just can't get cocky. We just got to keep pushing hard and practice and keep going. Well, no doubt this was a defensive slugfest from start to finish, but great football, some fun football, and how about the Verona Wildcats? A huge win on the road. The whole state of Wisconsin is looking at Verona. In Middleton, Lucas Mayer, NBC 15 Sports. Back to you guys. Thank you, Lucas. You finally got a good game. For finally. Our game of finally. The week. Hey, let's stay in the Big yeah, H, shall, shall we? we? West has dropped two in a row after starting two and zero, oh, while La Follette lost its first game last week, which <laughs> team will bounce back and stay in the conference race. Those kids were fired up. The Lancer fans would love this. Keyshawn Shanklin loses the grip on the ball, and then Pierre Ruffin roughs him up. A little bit of offense for La Follette. Katie Feller, she is good. So is this kick, and the home team has the lead. The Regents do work on D. Julian Patton is picked off by Terrell Carey. And then that would lead to this, as they say. Who said that? Was that you? I think you started okay. it, Okay, Shanklin to Xavier Miller, the X-Man. Great catch. Touchdown, Westside. The Regents go on to win 28-17. to Big win there for West. Bragging rights on the line in Janesville as Craig and Parker face off this one. All the team in green. DJ Vance goes one way, bounces it back the other. That is a touchdown, Ooh. Parker. Next, give it to Ed Jacobson. And look at Ed go. Oh the coaches are happy. They're running in front of our cameraman, Alan. Hey, Alan, get the coaches out of the way. I guess they kind of have a right yeah, to they, be there, don't they, Jocko? This one, coaches. all Parker tonight. They have Bragan rights in Janesville. They take down Craig 34 to 14. Both East and Memorial picked up their first wins of, se of the season last week. Picked this one up in the second half. East leading 7 to 6. Check out this play. Per goalers, the Trill Thompson jump pass to Ali Safford. Mm. That was, wait for it, awesome. A couple of plays later, word, Thompson awesome. trying to make something happen. Oh, no. The field was wet. I don't know why it was wet. Didn't I'm it rain? I'm not sure, no. Even Conchola, or Ivan as he likes to be called, Oofda. Well, and it gets turned over to Memorial. Memorial goes the other way. Now the Spartans trying to do some work. Michael Toman, the man with the best hair in football right there. Will Jessup. You nice need me catch. on that wall. You want me on that wall. Yes, yeah, finally, finally, Will. A week later. The dry would stall. East wins at 7 6 in a very low scoring affair. It is very low scoring. Sun Prairie's lone loss on the year is to Middleton. They're hosting Beloit Memorial. and. Well, the cards were pretty good today. Nathan Florick gets them on the board first. 
He hits Andrew Johnson, and he is wide open, up 7 nothing. You know who we like first on Prairie Jocko? Who is that, buddy? Jalen Taylor. Love that kid. He is shifty, he is quick, and he is talented. Yes, Athlete of the Week. 21-0. Beloit Memorial trying to mount to come back to Purple Knights. Kyle Hereford fumbles when Sun Prairie's Caden White chops the ball out. Congrats to Sun Prairie coach Brian Kaminsky. He gets his 100th career win. Sun Prairie wins it 42 to nothing.